Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the water inlet valve in your washer, be sure to unplug the power cord and close the water supply valves. Remove the hot and cold water supply lines from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Use a number two square bit or a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws at the back securing the main top. Slide the main top back and lift it up to remove. Next, unthread the vibration dampener mounting screws. Lift off the block. Disconnect the power cord wire connector. Detach the grounding wire from the rear panel and release the wire retainer. Unthread the mounting screws securing the drain hose retainer and remove the retainer. Next, remove the screws securing the main top mounting bracket. Set the bracket aside. Unthread the screws securing the rear panel to the motor control board. Now use a T20 Torx bit to unthread the remaining screws securing the rear panel. Detach the panel. Disconnect the water inlet valve wire connectors. Use the number two square bit or the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the inlet valve mounting screws. Pull the old valve free of the housing. Prepare the new water inlet valve for installation by transferring the outer port gaskets from the old valve to the new one. With the gaskets in place, insert the new valve firmly into the housing. Thread and tighten the mounting screws. Connect the wire connectors to the appropriate terminals. Reposition the rear panel. Thread and tighten all of the mounting screws, except for the two top screws on the back. Realign the main top support bracket and secure it with the screws. Reconnect the power cord wire connector. Attach the grounding wire to the rear panel and snap the wire retainer into place. Realign the drain hose retainer and replace the mounting screw.
reposition the vibration dampener, then thread and tighten the screws to secure. Realign the main top and slide it into place. Rethread the screws in the back. Attach the hot and cold water supply lines to the new inlet valve. With the repair completed, reopen the water supply valves, plug the power cord back in, and your washer should be ready for use.